right, first pie guy here. I'm going to show you how to uh, look at your traffic, the data of the, your ADS-B setup. If you're running like PyOair or, or Flight Radar 24 or whatever you may be using, since this is uh, all HTTP, when you have your map up and stuff. So we're going to go ahead first and bring up your Wireshark. Then we're going to go to Analyze, Display Filters. Then we're going to add one. So down here, we're just going to type in, just hit the uh, plus, I mean, to create a new filter. Then it'll come up like this. So you can just double click on that and just change it to like JSON if you want like I did right here then you'll want to type in the following and what this will do is this will just filter out everything except for the JSON uh, stuff that we're looking for so once you have that in there uh, we'll just hit OK so now what we can do is we can just Go up here and start typing it in, and it'll come up. So, what we'll do is <coughs> it will start coming up with just what we're looking for. So, let me pause this, close my, had some background noise there. So, it will just show now everything. So, if we just stop this and highlight one, right click, then go to follow, then we want th HTTP. As you can see, this is the data from uh, this particular packet so and it gives you the squawks the squawk and everything everything in it uh, and another way you can do it also is just go up here to your filter and just type in HTTP then this here will give you a little bit more information because the 121 is the uh, IP of the Raspberry Pi that's running uh, the ADS-B so and it'll just keep uh, spitting out data so figure I uh, well we gotta start it first my fault <clears throat> but as you can see here now obviously it's spitting out a lot of data not only what we filtered with this but it's also uh, spitting out some other uh, information so so there you go you can just right click on it f follow and uh, it'll show you the information and you could always save this I guess if you feel like for whatever reason and uh, and there you have it so and if you want to save it you can just go up here to uh, uh, capture options output then uh, create then when I did this I always just clicked on this one change it to hours then change it to 24 and what it'll do is it'll create a new file every 24 hours then uh, you can just go up here to browse and 
create a folder or whatever and save it where you would like it to be saved then once you're ready you just hit start and you can just let it run and run and run and uh, it will save the uh, file to uh, to whatever folder that you uh, put it in so all right thanks for watching stay tuned for uh, more videos